fuck is up my britches if you are new here hello my name is Brittany and today's video is going to be my first throwback Thursday I think the title of this is pretty self-explanatory this is nothing creative it's nothing unique I'm sure 8,000 other channels do this as well but I just wanted to basically revisit my makeup collection because I'm in the process of doing a massive declutter and I am so overwhelmed with my collection at this point so I figure going forward instead of doing like a massive declutter series like I'm doing now this might be a better like long-term way of just keeping up with my collection. And then if I'm not using these products, if I don't like them, if I'm not reaching for them, just get them out of here. Even going through this declutter series, there's still products in my collection. I'm like, why did I fucking keep that? So I'm just basically revisiting old makeup products. I'm going to show you guys me applying them on my face. I'm going to share with you guys everything that I used on my face today. I'll let you know if I'm going to keep it or not. If I would repurchase it, it's going to be like a mixture of all in one. So hopefully you guys like it. We'll see what you guys think. So leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, all that sort of stuff. But let's just dive right into the products that I use today. So the first one up, I did my makeup in such a weird order today. I usually never do brows first, but the first thing that I did was my brows with this brow gal by Tanya Crooks. This is going to be the convertible brow. And I believe this is the shade number two. I use the darkest shade and the middle shade as well. So I use this shade here and also this one. I just kind of mix them together. I did not realize that these were like pomades. I use them as basically like powders. I used to love this little brow like compact. I thought it was such a good idea and it just really worked well for me. I personally like to reach for almost like brow powders, eyeshadows. I don't usually like to buy specific brow products like this anymore. Like my favorite brow product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, but I like this. I still really enjoy it. So this was an oldie but a goodie and I don't know. I just, I really like it and I think my brows look really good today. I just really like powder formulas because I feel like I'm just able to really carve out everything a lot nicer. Like if I want a little bit more dramatic but wearable brows if that makes sense, but I still would just like repurchase a Brow Wiz over this even or just buy like brown eyeshadows that match my hair color. Like I probably wouldn't purchase this again. I got this in BoxyCharm like, oh my God, so long ago, but I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm still gonna keep it because I still really like it. And I think the brows look bomb.com today. So I'm into it. The next brow product is going to be the Brow Last Long Wearing Brow Gel. This is going to be from Physicians Formula and I have the shade Medium Brown. So I don't like this. I've tried it several times. I really like the packaging. I really like the concept of it but it makes my brows look funky. So I'm actually going to get rid of this because the shade of it's just kind of off. It's very gray toned, which I really like gray tones usually, but it pulls almost like a funky gray tone. I don't even know how to explain it. Like I had almost like a dead spot on my brows earlier today. It's one of those products that's nice. It's almost like a more liquidy version of a pomade, if that makes sense. So it's like you apply the formula with this brush and then you have the spoolie on the end, which you can comb through your brows. I really like the concept, like I said, but it's just one of those things. I'm not really a fan of the tone of it. This is really old as well. So maybe it just doesn't perform the same way. I could see myself repurchasing it to try it again to see if I actually do like it in a different shade, but it's just this one. I'm going to just get rid of it. And I haven't even gone through my brow products yet, but I mean, it's just, it's not a fave of mine. I'm much more of a fan of like the Kush Fiber Brow Gel from Milk Makeup. That's like my go-to right now. But I did like this. I remember when I first got it. It's just since then, I don't think I've really reached for it. So I am going to be getting rid of this one. These next two are going to be what's on my eyes. So I have the Tom Ford. This is the Cream and Powder Eye Contour. And this is the shade Golden Peach. This is going to be what's on my eyes right now. I think these are so stunning. But would I pay the amount that these cost? I'm not really sure. So it's going to be a cream formula on one side. And then it's going to have the powder formula on the other side. I love the packaging of these. They remind me a lot of the like Dose of Colors Ideal Duos, but I really like these just because they're just a quick and easy, like all over the eye, throw them on and you're good to go. It's just a really beautiful product. I really do love it. So I'm gonna show you, this is going to be the cream just applied by itself. And then when you apply the shadow by itself, it doesn't look like anything special. I think the formula on these on the top need to be a little bit better. Like they do feel pretty dry but it's beautiful. Like it's probably not going to look like much right there, but you can see the little bit of shine that it has, but it's when you stack these like on top of each other, holy shit, Gorgina. So let me throw this on the top right here. This is the only thing that I don't really like. I don't love the formula of the powder end, but I wonder if they've reformulated it because this is pretty old, but you see how much more of a shine that that has when you add that powder on top and it just really helps set it. And I think it looks beautiful on the eyes. 
It's just, again, it's like a go-to, like everyday wearable type of look. It's Gorgina, but what I pay, these are like $55 or something crazy like that. I would not spend that kind of money on it. I would be more inclined to purchase the uh, Dose of Colors Ideal Duos, except for I think these are more like wearable friendly like the dose of colors ones they if anything i think they crease a lot more than these do like i really really like the cream version of these and i'm not really a fan of cream eye products but these ones like i don't see any creasing or anything i think they look beautiful but it just comes down to the price i'm just like you know if if this formula up here was more like buttery and soft and it still had like the finish of it is still really pretty it's just it's tough. Like I have to really work my finger in there or I have to like go in and break it up with a spoolie. It almost gets like hard pan if that makes sense. It's just, it really is. It's beautiful. I just don't know if I would spend the like full ticket price for this. I'd probably buy it on sale or something like that. This next one is going to be the liner that I have on right now. This is the ColourPop Best O Cream Gel Liner. I'm a huge fan of these, but this one has got to go because it's so old. Like Duraline saved my ass with this today, but it's just... For how much work that I had to put into just like a line, it was just too much. I think this is just dried out and it's been long overdue. I would definitely repurchase these. I just feel like ColourPop is so inconsistent. That's the only downfall. Like I feel like some of the products I get from ColourPop are knockout amazing quality products, but these cream liners, even the ones that are in the pencils, if you get good ones, they're fucking good. Like well worth the price of them. I just wish they were more easily accessible in store. I wish that Ulta carried like ColourPop's full range or more of the range than they do, you know what I mean? Because I just get very overwhelmed with ColourPop's website, but based on how this performed when I had the Duraline in it, I was a lot more impressed with it, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one and just repurchase another one. But the shade of this is beautiful. It almost reminds me of a deeper like plum version of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I just, I really like the shade of this. I think it's very flattering on my green eyes. It's just long overdue. I need to get another one, but I would still repurchase these because they are inexpensive. It's just, ugh. I wish ColourPop was more consistent. That's all. And then the last eye product is going to be this Gigi Hadid Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. This is my favorite mascara or one of my favorite mascaras at the drugstore. Like between this one, the L'Oreal Voluminous and also the L'Oreal, what is this? The L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. This one's like top three. I absolutely love this. I love the brush on it. Even though it's a plastic applicator, which I'm not typically a fan of, I love the shape of the applicator. It almost gives you like, uh, what is it? Benefit Roller Lash, how it has the curve. I just feel like it fits right under there. But Maybelline, if you ever see this, like, can we get a tubing version of this? Because that would be everything. That would be like holy grail status. Dogs barking as per usual. But yeah, if this came in a tubing formula, I'd be all about that life because I've been using nothing but the Thrive Cosmetics ones. But when I use this today, I'm like, man, why don't I use this more often? Because I think this makes my natural lashes look damn near at their absolute best. It gives me like the perfect amount of volume. It separates everything and it just... It fits my eye like perfectly. So I'm a huge fan of this mascara. The next two are going to be primer. So I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I don't understand the hype of this. It's just like a facial spray. I don't think that there's anything unique about this. This is not enough for me to just prime my face with it. I mean, it's like a nice spray. I think this is more of like a refresher spray, maybe even a setting spray, but I'm just kind of surprised at the hype that this had. I would definitely not repurchase it, but I am going to finish it up because I'm a big fan of facial mist, but this one I'm just like, I don't, I don't understand the hype of it. And then the second primer that I used today was the Tarte Brighter Days. This is the Highlighting Moisturizer. I almost forgot how much I love this. And this is like one reason why I'm really excited to keep doing these types of videos because I applied this to my face and it's like the most perfect moisturizing highlighter. Like it's so beautiful. I think underneath makeup, it looks so beautiful to have that luminosity shine through your makeup. It's beautiful. Like when you first apply it, it looks crazy. But then as you put your makeup over the top of it and then how moisturizing it is, like it just feels like a highlighting moisturizer. Like the name of it nails it. So I'm really into this. I want to say that I have a full size in my giveaway drawer or maybe I already gave it away. If I have a full size in my drawer, I might snag that out of there because I put this on and I'm like, oh yeah, this feels good on my face and my face is feeling a little bit dehydrated as well. So I am really into this. And again, it's just one that I refound in my collection and I'm really excited about it. So I'm really glad that I didn't declutter this one, but I'm kind of surprised that I didn't declutter this. I think it's just because of how much I paid for it. Actually, no, because I bought this at like 21 Days of Beauty. I think it's just because I like facial sprays. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I think it's just because I like facial sprays. 
but it's just I would not repurchase it. I've never understood the hype of it. The next product I used was the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not going to get rid of it because I think on camera, this looks gorgina. This is obviously the foundation that's on my face right now. I think my skin on camera looks beautiful. I think this would be a strictly like filming only type of foundation because in person it looks a lot heavier on my skin and I don't really use a lot of foundation. So I don't know if I would repurchase this. I think there's other ones that are similar. Like I think the Makeup Revolution, the stick foundation is a little bit more emollient than this. I think this has like a beautiful sheen to it. I think it makes your skin look very skin-like. It's just, it's an expensive ass foundation. And I think there's other ones that I would repurchase over this one. So I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm still gonna keep using it. I think the shade of it matches me pretty nice. I think it's a little bit darker, like my self tanner's fading off, but summertime, I really do like this. It's just, I think this will become like a filming only type of foundation because again, I think on camera, my skin looks beautiful. It's just in person. It's not as flattering on my textured skin. I feel like Hourglass really nails it with their powder products, not necessarily for their complexion products, at least for me. So we're going to keep this one for now, but I think it's going to become only like a filming only type of product. Hi, editing me. I'm on my phone, but I wanted to include this because Shannon just looked over at me. He's like, wow, your makeup looks beautiful today. And then he came up closer. He's like, oh, you look like you got like a full face of makeup on. I'm like, yeah, it's like a Monet situation, right? And he was like, yeah, like far away, it looks really good. Up close, this foundation does look a lot heavier, a lot more makeup-y. So I wanted to make sure I included that because he doesn't really pay attention all that much. So when he makes comments like that, I'm like, okay. So this is definitely more of an on-camera situation for me. So I'll be keeping this for like recording only and less likely to wear it like day-to-day -day life. This next one is going to be from Gerard Cosmetics. This was gifted to me by the brand, I'm pretty sure. This is the BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream. This is another like essentially cream highlighter. I really like this one. It reminds me more of like a liquid highlighter. I'm not really a fan of the packaging though. Like I don't like how you have to squeeze and pump at the same time, but I'm not gonna complain about the packaging because the product itself is so beautiful. I have the shade Bridget and I think this is absolutely stunning. Like I love the fact that this is such a multi-purpose product. You could put a little bit of this in your foundation if you want a little bit more glow. You could prep your skin with it as a primer to have that luminosity shine through. You could put this all over your body. Like I think this is such a solid universal product. So I just need to reach for this more. But again, I think the shade of this is absolutely gorgina. Again, this is Bridget. But I think they have several others in this formula with just different shades. I'm a huge fan of it. It kind of reminds me of like the Tom Ford, what is it? The like illuminator or something like that. It reminds me a lot of that. I just think this is beautiful. And it's another one. It's just like, why don't I reach for this more often? So I just applied it to the tops of my cheekbones. I do have my next product on top of it. It's just, it gives a beautiful, just youthful looking glow to the skin. It gives you a little bit more of a beaming highlight, but since it's a cream formula, it's more flattering on my textured skin. So I'm a huge fan of this. But just going with that blinding ass highlighter that's on my face right now, this is going to be the Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. Now, I almost decluttered this in my highlighter declutter, and I'm so glad that I didn't. The formula on this is so interesting. Like, it feels almost like, you know, the Becca, what is it, the, I don't even know the exact name of it. It's like the loose powder that feels like it's wet. This is like a highlighter version of that. It's so beautiful. So I actually like to apply this with my fingers, even though I'm usually not a fan of, you know, applying makeup with my fingers. But I think this looks beautiful on the skin. This actually reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter. So this is going to be the shade Cotton Candy. Like on there, it doesn't really look like anything special. But this on top of that Gerard Cosmetics Bridget Highlighter, I think is so beautiful. I think it looks so flattering on the skin. And it gives you that wet type of look to the face, which I'm a huge fan of. So I'm very happy that I kept this and I got this in BoxyCharm. Another reason why I love BoxyCharm, I talk about this all the time. Like I've gotten so many products that I've just fallen in love with from BoxyCharm. It's just another one. It's like, why don't I reach for this more? Like, I think it looks beautiful on my face right now. This next one is an oldie but a goodie. I know that I love this product. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I've talked about this on my channel before. If you are interested in the Urban Decay All Nighter, I do always recommend buying the Scandinavia setting sprays because this is actually made by Scandinavia and you get double the amount of product for the same price that you'll pay for this. Like, I would still repurchase this like in a pinch if I'm out at the store and I know that I need a setting spray. I would still purchase this, but going forward, like if I know that I need to either repurchase this or something, 
I would just be buying it from Scandinavia's website because I want to get essentially the same product for like literally the same price to get double the amount of it. You know what I mean? So I am a huge fan of this. I just reached for it again today and I'm just like, I, I just, I love it. Every time that I come back to it, it just sets my makeup in the most perfect way. It doesn't give me a matte finish. It doesn't give me a dewy finish. It just makes all of my makeup look so skin-like and it just helps really set everything down. And it's just, it's a beautiful product. I do really love this one. It's just Scandinavia is literally the same thing, but I would still repurchase this. Like if I'm in a pinch, I'm still gonna buy this. I didn't realize I did this. The last thing is going to be the Gigi Hadid Maybelline. This is the lip liner in the shade Tora. I'm a big fan of these. I'm actually surprised that this is not like dried out at all. It's still super creamy. So this is going to be what the shade looks like. I paired it with the Bite Beauty, uh, what are these called? The Power, what are they? The Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. I have that on top of this. And then it's also topped with the Matte Cosmetics Lip Glass from the Mariah Carey Collection in the shade Rainbow Interlude. This is my three-piece lip cocktail right here but this it's still going strong I'm kind of surprised but I do really like the formula on these so I would definitely repurchase I would buy more shades and I would definitely recommend it so that's going to be my throwback Thursday for all these products that I use let me know if you guys like the structure of this if you like the idea of it if you guys want to see me actually applying things and talking about them I just don't think I'm very good at applying products and talking at the same time I like to just apply them really like evaluate everything and then gather my thoughts at the end you know so let me know what you guys prefer, but that's going to be it for my first throwback Thursday. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want more of these, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also follow me on my other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, everything's linked down below. I have everything linked on my face down below as well. So if you guys are interested in everything, those are down there. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Peace.